Now another set of controls that appear when you access that 3D tool, you notice your HUD changes. Here's the regular 2D HUD, and here is the 3D HUD. And you get these additional controls down at the bottom. And this is another way of manipulating your object in 3D space. It's, it's just another way of controlling the object, but for some people they find this a little bit more intuitive. And this basically breaks up the movements or limits the movements into a few different ways of, of doing that. So first of all, the first box here is the depth tool. This is only going to move the object along that Z axis. So if I grab that, I just click and drag on that tool and I drag left or right, it's going to move the object along the Z axis, moving it further away or closer to the current position. Uh, the second object here, this is exactly the same as just clicking and dragging the object anywhere in the body. It just limits the movement to the X and Y. Why anyone would click here to do that instead of clicking here to do that, I don't really understand, but at least the tool is available to you should you desire that. This third box here, this is the X and Z only. So here, if I drag it left or right, it moves the object left or right. But if I drag it up or down, it's moving it closer or further away along that Z axis. So whereas this first one is Z only, the second one is X and Y, the third one is X and Z. So it moves it horizontally or in depth. And that's, uh, again, a way to limit your movement that way. Uh, the rotation, this allows you to rotate the object, and if you drag it horizontally, you're, dra you're rotating horizontally. If you drag it up and down, you're rotating it uh, vertically. So you can kind of do basically an X or Y rotation. This doesn't do a Z rotation, but of course you can always do the Z rotation simply in the object by grabbing it like that. So, but if you want to do an X and Y rotation, click this button here, and you can just click and hold, and as you drag, you can manipul manipulate your object there in 3D space. All right, finally is scale. And scaling is actually going to make your object larger or smaller. Now, this is exactly the same as grabbing the corner of the object and moving it like that, or grabbing the scale slider over here in the inspector. All these do the exact same thing. So there's no need to use this control. But it's a really important thing to understand the difference between scaling and controlling the depth. Because in both cases, the object appears to get smaller or larger, right? You do that, or if I do the scale here, it appears to get smaller or larger. But the difference is that you are, when you're adjusting the depth, the object is staying the same size, but it is being changed in relative position along that, that Z axis. So if you were to move your camera closer to the object, it would maintain its original size, or if you had multiple objects, their relative sizes would be the same as they originally were because they were, you know, you're just changing their position in space, not changing their actual relative size. So it's a really important distinction whether you're going to be manipulating the scale of the object or the Z position, even though in a 2D world they look like you're basically doing the same effective result.